Okay, so if you're watching this video, you probably don't need to be convinced as to why you should use a password manager. Password managers are great because you can create a unique and complex password for every different website that you log on to, and you're not using the same password for every single website that's going to get compromised as soon as some random company decides to not spend enough on their security. Now, if you're a privacy or security-minded person, you've probably heard online that you shouldn't use one of these cloud password managers. One of these password managers that backs up all of your passwords and saves them in the cloud or on their own server, and then allows you to sync it across your various different devices. And why you might not want to do this is because you are putting all of your passwords on somebody else's computer, and you're basically trusting them not to get hacked or not to do anything with your passwords, and maybe you don't want to put that much trust into somebody else's computer. You'd rather just have them on your own computer. So a lot of password managers do that. Something like KeePass is completely local to your machine. All the passwords are going to be saved to your machine, and you would have to back up those manually if you want to put those on a different computer or on a phone or something like that. And so security-wise, Having a local password manager is pretty great. You don't have to trust anybody else or worry about some hackers attacking some remote server that you have no control over. But let's be honest, for normal people, they're not going to want to do something like this. So if you want to convince your dad or your brother or one of your friends that isn't as technologically inclined to use a password manager, uh, if you pitch it to them like, uh, yeah, they're all stored on your local computer and all you have to do is take a backup, put the file on another computer, uh, on your phone, then it starts to sound like a big hassle and not something that most people would want to do. So just syncing your passwords between every single device is something that's really convenient for most people. And if you just want to help normal people improve their security, Honestly, I would recommend Bitwarden as the best option for them. So Bitwarden is a cloud service. All of your passwords are stored on their servers, but it has a lot of advantages over something else like LastPass or 1Password, one of these other um, big name password managers, in that it is open source. And so you can audit all the source code and you can see what they're all doing with it. You don't have to trust some proprietary software telling you that is safe. Instead, you can actually go look at the source code on GitHub. And Bitwarden is also completely free. There's no sign-up fee. If you do want to pay money, that's if you have an enterprise organization and you want to share passwords between them. But just for your own personal use, 99% of the features are already there for $0 a month. So signing up for Bitwarden is really easy. All you do is go to their website, click login, and you create a new account, and you just put in your email address, your name, you don't have to put in your real name, obviously, if you're more security minded, and you have to put in your master password here. And for security, you're not actually able to recover your master password if anything should happen to it. So you really have to remember this. They're not going to email you a link to reset your password if you forget it. So once you set this, you got to remember it. You got to write it down somewhere. So that might sound like a downside, but it does help improve the security and that nobody, not even them, are able to recover your password once you've already made it. And so once you create an account here, you can download uh, password manager clients for your desktop, for your phone, for your browser. What I have here is an extension for the Chrome browser. And as you can see, it's very simple to use. You just open this up, go to My Vault, and it'll show you every single, every single item that you have here. You can generate a random password here if you like. You can customize this to however complicated you want it to be. And the user experience is actually a lot better than something like LastPass or something you might have used before. I find it to be very intuitive. So you would open up the website here and click Sign In and it'll automatically pre-fill all the information for you if you set it up correctly. So if you wanna add a new item, you can click this plus, you would type in the name of the website, that can be GitHub or anything else. You can put in your username and password, and you can put in the URL. So whenever you navigate to this URL, it'll automatically pre-fill it for you. 
And there's also keyboard shortcuts to make it even easier. You can push Control Shift L to pre-fill it if for some reason it doesn't already. You can use Control Shift Y to open up the to open up the extension right here, or Control Shift U if you're on Linux for whatever reason. And that'll just pop open this panel right here. And of course, that's just for the Chrome extension. There are many other different clients for everything, and all those clients are open source. So as you can see, it's very normie friendly. If you send this to your family and friends, they aren't gonna be completely confused. This is a very straightforward process, and it's just as good as any other password manager on the market. In fact, I would say it's much better than the other ones, just because of the user interface and everything else that just makes it really nice to work with. And if you like the idea of Bitwarden, but you don't really trust them with keeping all of your passwords secure on their server, you can actually put them on your server. So you can spin up your own instance of Bitwarden on your own server. Uh, you would just install it with Docker or something similar to that. You can use something like this Bitwarden server right here in order to put it on your server. And of course it has a readme on how to install it and do everything. So instead of using Bitwarden's official servers, you can just use your own VPS or whatever else you want. So I might actually do a video on this in the future because this looks really nice. I kind of want to set it up for my own use. But for just normal people who don't really want to go overboard with their security and privacy, like some normal people you might know, I would just recommend Bitwarden as the best option. It works better than LastPass and all these other password managers. It's completely free, it's open source, and it's just the best on the market. So if you need something to recommend to your family and friends, here you go.